That's all, yeah. You, you feel you feel the essence of yeah. Chris in there. Yeah. And she's happily married. Mm. I just had my 16th wedding. <laughs> Did you have to I'm think surprised about that. About that. <laughs> let, me, let me consider that for a moment. Uh, I just had my 16th wedding anniversary. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Y'all still much. like each other? You know what? We like each other more now. You give up after a while. Like, I might as well get used to you. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Might as well get over it. You have that period at the beginning where you're really in love. Right. You have that period in the middle where you're like, I'm sick of eating chicken. I would like a steak. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then you get back to where we're like, chicken is delicious. It's nutritious. You know, it's not fat and I like chicken. I think I, think I can stick with chicken. So we're at that point now. And he's, he's a lovely guy. We met is in he college. in the business? He's not in the business. We met in college before either of us were in the business. He's not mm. in the business anyway. He's a supportive, sweet, lovely guy. Who, uh, who who doesn't mind what I do and mm -hmm. you know is into it and uh, and he's you know he's a very nice guy. I met him at Dartmouth. I uh, married a white guy, which honestly I had to because my credit was jacked up, and I just felt like <laughs> I, I needed a truck. You know what I mean? And I had to do it, like, were like, look, if you come back with a white boy, I was like, look, I'll be back in five minutes. Just stay right here. Right? And we go hit the street and see who is around. I want, you to turn, I want you to throw some, some mats and leather, though. If I come back in here with a white boy, I want leather in this car. Um, so that's so. your tip to sisters. Huh? <laughs> It works for me, ladies. You you follow your heart. You I didn't. I didn't. Credit. <laughs> we had a listener once say, "Once you go white, your credit gets <laughs> it gets <now>. tight." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is a he's a sweet sweet boy. My parents love him. He, you know, he's been he's been very very uh, supportive of me, and that's nice. And that has nothing to do with him being white mm -hmm. or black. He's just a good he's just a good guy. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think so. I think, well, I think Mel Gibson proved you ain't got me. <laughs> And all they cracked up with me. <laughs> Don't be thinking they all nice. You know, I just, I just happen to scratch one up, but you know, you see, you go to the other side, literally the dark side. Talk about Mel Gibson. Woo! Woo! I want to go. I want a time machine so I can go back to every movie I ever saw. But give him seven dollars back right now. Give it back. God. And you know what I wanted? I want. I want to talk to to um to Dan, to Danny Glover. Yeah. Cause you are like, was this guy always this way? Right. That's <laughs> deep. No. That's in there. Yeah. It's not like you did a couple shots and you said something you regretted later. Like, oh, that was rude, wasn't it? That was concerted jack acidness. He was just. I'm about to go on a, on a douche run. Let's just be a douche for like a month or two at a time to be like, wow. Oh. And I, I met him a couple years ago. Yeah. I had said him for Roger Ebert when he was out sick on Ebert and Roper and I had reviewed Apocalypto and I remember this was when the first thing happened and I said look no matter how you feel about this man this is a great movie and now I want to go back and be like don't give this man your money <laughs> I used to tell him all in improv all weekend check out thank you <laughs>